Welcome everyone to a casted game for Age of Empires 4. And today spawning Northwest Corner Map playing in blue. We've got Beastie QT playing as the Chinese. And his opponent in the southeast playing in red. We've got Louis MT playing as the Holy Roman Empire. Welcome everyone to Dry Arabia. That's the map for today. And while both civilizations have some potential in this matchup, but uh, many would say that the HRE are a little bit favoured. We'll have to see how Beastie addresses this situation. And uh, of course the HRE often do go for a nice castle age timing can be an option for them especially against the chinese if the chinese aren't too aggressive the chinese though they can go for a song dynasty get the village account up and look to work from there it'll be a fascinating one of course that's what we expect to see happen but you never really know with these two players and how they play the game they can obviously adapt change and make different decisions we have to see if they make different decisions today HRE making use of the prelate, of course, as you'd expect. 40% gather rate on these villagers. Yeah. Means that they're going to be careful and bring the sheep back home. Oh, that's a nice bit of a scouting there for Beastie. Cutting off quite a lot of sheep, I've got to say. Holy moly. We're going to be uh, going through where Louis MT just came from, though. So uh, Louis MT struggling with the sheep count, bringing three home. Three sheep that he uh, would need very quickly now, actually. Now you can see as you bring the sheep to the northern corner of the town centre, posturing for that Arkan Chapel. Most likely in this corner here, we're getting access to wood, gold and food. Very nice spot indeed. But the Chinese possibly looking to get the Barbican of the Sun and the Song Dynasty with the Imperial Academy as well. The question is, where does he go with it? Now he does have a nice back gold, which is very handy. A Barbican to protect the gold could be quite useful, but the issue with the Chinese is that... You know, there's two ways to play. You could be pretty greedy and try and boom it up. But against the HRE, if you do that, you're running the risk of giving away the relics and the Regnus Cathedral, and that can really hurt you. So I suspect there'll be aggression coming from the Chinese. The question is how much and how they do it. It's a bit of a tricky one, I've got to say. Arkan Chapel has been placed. Going to go for the Lumber Camp instead and make sure it's got plenty of farming space around that Arkan Chapel. Now, walling up-wise, it could actually get a palisade towards the edge of the map from this wood line here. We'll protect that gold vein and also has a back gold vein here that you could uh, keep that nice and secure. Obviously, you won't be expecting to see that anytime soon because that would be heavy wood investment to do so. So it's unlikely to happen, at least for now. i got to say, though, now the map for the Chinese, not too terrible in terms of walling, can wall to woodline to woodline to the edge of the map and we then have access to berries and gold at the back too. Nice bit of space for a farming transition for granaries too, but that's uh, obviously mid to late game. We might be expecting to see a lot more action before then. And it's going to be the Imperial Academy though going down. Um, well, that's uh, an understandable opening, a typical opening for the Chinese. Three villagers being used for the Arkan Chapel. Now going out to berries, most likely just for wheelbarrow most thing, most most of the time. Although, to be fair, he's kind of struggling on sheep, so he might actually need to rely on those berries, which is not really necessarily what he wants to do with his, the, uh, the HRE, but possibly has no choice. Three villagers staying out on that gold, so posturing for that Song Dynasty. The question is, what is going for multiple town centers behind that or not, Beastie? I'm not so sure. Like, one possible option is staying Song, Song Dynasty, one town center, playing uh, Chukunu. Against the HRE to put some pressure. Kind of gives you the best of both in some ways. Which is a tricky situation. Because sometimes you do need to just uh, double down on one particular strategy. But Song Dynasty will mean that the villagers would obviously escalate in number. With the faster working town centre. And also, wait, wait, wait a minute. Where are these villagers off to? For a second there I thought they might be going to stone. But they're not. They're going across the map. Beastie, he's going to go for a Barbican drop. The question is where does he go? Possibly on the gold. It's quite likely. It's going to try and deny that Castle Age tech up, and obviously, Louis nowhere near that. It's going to try and get an outpost up with one village. That's not going to be quick enough. The four, well, not four villages, that's eight villages. That's a massive investment forward. A lot of idle time in terms of walking distance, no wheelbarrow. But he's committing here, Beastie. We're going to see the Beastie Barbican special. Slowly but surely getting there. Man, he had to walk a long distance, i got to say, just to get there. The outpost, I don't think, goes up in time. And... Although, if he's going to rely on a Barbican, he might need to get an outpost first here, Beastie, actually. Because the Barbican will take some time, and the outpost possibly would go up in time. He's going to go for the Barbican first. No, he's going to build it. Eight villages. It's going to come into a bit of a race. Now, even if the outpost goes... Oh, he's going to rush us down. I'm not so sure. I mean, even if the outpost goes down, 
he's still not going to be able to have access to gold, right? And I think he recognizes that. He deletes it because he can't get access to gold, even with the outpost. So he just suggests so maybe just let's not bother with that. And he has to back away. Now, he does have back gold on the right e on the right side of the map. He's going to wall up and try and prevent any further progression of that Barbican. There's the walls coming up. Wolf on the case. Wait, Beastie, if he recognizes that, he might push in. He's got to go quickly, though. He's probably wondering where those villages go. And he's, yeah, he, he suspects something's up. He's going to run into the Palisades. He should be able to get through, though. Or maybe not, actually. I don't think he does. I think he has to burn this down. He's really committed. Now, he could go for the gold, but ultimately, if he does that, you know, having access to gold here safely for the HRE, it kind of puts a big spanner in the works for the plan for Beastie. Ah, oh, he's going to get the Palisades. He does get it in the end. Torches are out, though. Might look to get an outpost. Yeah, the HRE and Louis just to stop this coming through. Although, if he does that, then the Chinese will just build their own outpost. Yeah, he's going to go for the gold, but yeah, he's burning through. He's going to try to get an outpost of his own, but Beastie might just get his own quicker. Beastie, if he reacts quick enough. Yeah, he does. He's going to get his one out first. And oh dear, the HRE has to back away. There's no way he wins that race. Unfortunately, he's only got seven villagers there, so he would always be outbuilt in terms of uh, yeah speed to build. Beast doesn't complete the outpost, but just in case he needs to delete it, he wants that full wood back. Ah, oh, that's not going to go up there. No, oh, he's going to bait him in and try and get the outpost, but HRE can't do it. He's going to do it now, just to try and get him stopping proceeding any further. A big problem, though, Beastie might actually get through the Palisades before the outpost goes up. I'm not so sure. No, the, the village will reward that up and again and protect it and repair. That's a good play there by Louis. Should be able to hold this position, i got to say. Although, a couple more. Wait, wait. Louis, why is he not Why is he not building that up? He doesn't want to commit to it, but he could have garrisoned inside to stop the villagers from proceeding any further. He's not completing it. Oh, that's a bit of indecisive. He deletes the tower. I don't know why. Oh, no. That's a, that's, that's a bad situation. He backs away. Like, if he got it up, I mean, sure, the villagers might try and torture it down, but he would have had villagers garrisoned inside. That was an awkward phase of the moment of the game. And I'm not so sure why he deleted that second outpost and didn't commit. He's going to wall the villagers in on this side. And they will stop the progression, at least for now. They've got to find another source of gold. He did go on the west side to get the gold. So I guess ultimately he didn't feel too committed to that. Didn't feel like it was totally necessary. But it's a cracking opening to this match. And Beastie really piling the pressure with the Barbican. Yeah. Yikes. Now behind this, it's not actually going to be too bad a castle age time for the HRE, all things considered. Because he does have seven villagers there on the gold, and he also has a prelate working hard. Can I get blacksmith as well? I'm ready for those upgrades. But yeah, certainly having to rely on berries, and has a couple more sheep. But the, the biggest issue is that food is a problem. He is going to have to build some farms. And that's not really what he wants to do. Unless he goes for the deer camp, it's always a possibility, but it's quite far forward. He's going to go for the burger of palace. He recognizes his aggression is coming in, and he's going to try and fight fire with fire. Eight villages on gold, though, for Beastie, so the castle age should be coming in pretty quick time for him as well. Might need to get a market just to rebalance that economy. There's quite a fair few villages on uh, gold there. He's going to get a stable opening and an archery range, so can to that field age for now at least, but although he looks like he's well on his way soon to that castle age. This is looking pretty solid, i got to say. If he does it, he spots the gold. That's so key. Outpost will go up, but he, he knows this is happening, and there is a horseman. The outpost will go up eventually, but if he focuses on the prelate, he's going to try and micro this round and try and keep the villagers alive as long as possible. One horseman won't be enough. Even a second one coming in now won't be enough. He'll keep the gold for safe, for safe for now. Great start to the game for both sides, really, uh, in terms of a spectacle at least. And there's the Burger Palace just about to be built. Question is, does he have enough villagers on gold to... I mean, he doesn't really have enough villagers on gold to be able to sustain that production of the Burger Palace. Those guys can decide, but I mean, if Beastie commits with more horsemen, over time he will just overrun this, and he's keeping so many villagers idled. This is worth it. He might lose a couple of horsemen, but he's keeping so many villagers idled. Loses one horseman, about to lose another. He has to back away for now. Doesn't have the numbers. He's going to go up with the Imperial Palace, which is kind of an interesting choice. He's going to have access to an extra line of sight. Maybe scale into Yuan Dynasty later on, but that sight and that vision is going to be perfect on that side of the map. Interesting he didn't go for the Clock Tower. Really mixing things up here. And bear in mind it's got Song Dynasty, right? So this town center is working significantly faster. You can see that village count really escalating. 
He's only killed two villagers, but the rest of it is the result of the Song Dynasty, that villager lead. Sending a couple of mana times forward now. Here comes a bit of a flood for Louis. Doesn't have any blacksmith upgrades, though. Does have a blacksmith, so could look to get Iron Undermesh, which will certainly help, especially if Chukunu are looking to be coming out, which uh, are not queued up just yet. Well, no, actually, there are a couple there on the field. Two or three. And he's walling up as well, just to hold him safe against the mana times, ideally. But Lancers are on the field, gives him mobility. Wallolo, just to harass and just say, hey, I've got relics now. But here comes the first Lancer for the Chinese, which I like the approach because, of course, they'll do well against Man at Arms. Won't do as well against the Spearman, though. It's a lot of units flooding out forward. But he's got to keep this food economy safe. It's kind of exposed, I've got to say. Oh, it's pushing the deer away from the mill. It might need to get another mill here, actually, just to make it a little bit more efficient. Oh, there's a Lancer there wrapping round. He doesn't have any units here. This could be an issue. Villagers really trying to get surround. I don't think he can fight that. He's going to deposit the food and maybe back off and out. On the back of the base, does lose a scout. Units heading backwards. This is not great, though, for the HRE. The mobility is not great, and it's going to be losing a villager or two at least. Charge comes out, man arms tanking as much as they can. And he needs to focus on the weak one. Does get a weak villager there in the end. And he backs away with the Lancers just in time. Spearmen are going to get in position, though. Pulling away the villagers that are a bit stray there outside the mill. Beastie. Meanwhile, still gathering gold. This is a crazy game so far. Monastery being built, so we'll get a couple of relics involved and deposited. He needs that gold. He needs everything he can get here, Louis. It's under pressure. Now, behind this, will we see a second town center? It doesn't seem like it. it's going to stay one town center for now. Get the berries at the back. Possibly could posture towards that deer camp. Man of Times just keeping an eye on that relic. Wall's coming up for Beastie. Trying to keep his base safe. But two relics in play already. Now, bear in mind, he doesn't have the Relic's Cathedral, right? So he forgoes that extra relic bonus. But still, with every relic he gets, it's going to put him in a better position. Going to get the Sacred Site as well whilst he can. Man of Times going to be for protecting that prelate nicely. But overall, the village lead building up so nicely for Beastie. Give it another 5-10 minutes and the economy will scale into military numbers quite significantly. There's a blacksmith coming up. All for those all-important all upgrades. Which is certainly going to look to get soon. Deer camp almost taken. Does have a wheelbarrow, which certainly helps the movement speed at least. At one point, the real concern is that the farming transition will hit the HRE pretty hard. It looks like he might be opting for an Imperial Age. Look at the food and gold income. It looks suspicious of it. Looking to catch up with maybe the Palace of Swabia, but it's such an expensive way to try and catch up. And it gives a nice wind of opportunity to, for Beastie to put on a, a good timing attack. Significantly stronger economy at this point. Try and take down the Barbican. And try and torture down. It will take some time. Might lose some units doing that. But he feels like he needs to. Not enough space on the deer camp. Might do well to go to the deer on the north, but the Barbican's in the way. Possibly one of the reasons why he's trying to take it down. Lancer wraps around. Looking to get some more villages on that deer camp still, and they have to retreat. Man at arms aren't positioned. It just takes such a long time to get around the map, those infantry units. We'll get there now, and I wonder if he's got heavy maces. Let's double check on that. He does indeed. But now the Chukunu number's looking kind of scary, especially with, especially with Steel Dara coming in. That's going to make it significantly stronger. Got three sacred sites in play. Gold income should be pretty nifty there for the HRE. Here come the Spearmen, going to try and take down one last. So he baited him in a little bit. Let's the Chukunu get involved. He's lost a few villagers already so far, four. But most importantly, he's kept him idled in many ways here, Beastie. The villagers haven't been gathering resources for quite some time. We'll lose another. Five in total have gone down. And I would do well to try and just peel off one or two units for the sacred sites, decap them. Deny the gold income for as uh, long as possible. Speaking of gold, he's kind of short. Four villagers on gold. Plenty of villagers on stone. I think he might need to trade that in maybe, or maybe looking to get a keep or two. Or one just... One would be enough, I think, at this point. Iron Under Mesh coming in for Beastie it will allow his units to dive in a little bit more. He's coming down south now to go on stone yet. Yeah, it looks like he's maybe posturing towards a keep, but it's going to take some time to get there. 
Oh, Monk is not actually on the sacred site. Two relics are in play for Beastie. It has been deposited. He's going to get a second down center now to try and match. He probably feels like there's an Imperial Edge coming in, and there is. There is the Palace of Swabia. That's almost 16 minutes at this point. HRE looking to try and get back into the game economy-wise, but so much damage has been done for Beastie. Not just villager kills, but mostly idle time. Oh, Sacred Sight is not being decapped. He's going for the boar now with the prelate. But such a messy game. And the players are in very precarious positions. Well, at least the HRE are in terms of going out on the map. Might be losing access to this relic though. Might be a bit of a smash and grab if a monk comes out there for the Chinese. Oh no, but the Lancers there. The boar working hard and it's such a great play by Beast to keep eyes on the map at all times. He spots the mill so he knows there's going to be units here. Oh no, that's a big pill up, uh, pick off here. And the good thing for the HRE is that he is in the Imperial Age so we'll be able to produce the villages pretty cheaply and pretty quickly. But again, this is not ideal. Good number of pick offs there. 31 military to 9, and there's that farming transition that he needs. It's so rough. The lack of access to boar. The lack of access to this deer camp in the north. The Barbican's still there. Makes it so challenging. And this farming transition coming at the worst possible time. Only two villages on food. He needs food desperately. And well, he's still in the deer camp here, the Chinese. He might need a farming transition relatively soon himself. But he could potentially take the deer camp in the north and, and also the boar even. He's actually got the potential to do this because he's got a lot of map control with the Lancers wrapping around, coming down south. It's a great play here by Beastie, I've got to say. Opening up with the Barbican and pushing it further forward than you'd normally expect. Palace of Swapit will help the HRE to catch up, but two towns center Song Dynasty, boy oh boy, that's going to take some time to catch up to. Man of Arms engaging, does have heavy maces with the spearmen as well. Villagers have to retreat and Again, the HRE village is being pulled left, right, and center. So much idle time caused. A complete mess. He's trying to get an outpost on the goal, on the stone, rather. Doesn't look likely. Not with this number of military. 35 to 7. This is looking uh, very precarious. I'm not so sure Louis can come back from this. That farming transition gave me the worst possible time. Wallolo coming on the west side just as a little bit of a taunt. But we've got two relics deposited. One more being brought in. and Well, he's really struggling. Needing to maximize villages on wood. It will take another good... 15, maybe 20 minutes for the economy to catch up and then pay for itself. Meanwhile, BC's up onto 82 villagers, 36 military. Playing this one incredibly strong. We see even more blue units coming across the map, and I think just full castle age here should work pretty nicely for Beastie. Gonna have a tough job on his hand here, the HRE to defend. Maybe cannon emplacements could help him. Now there's the Sacred Sight timer activated for Beastie. Three relics about to come in, and three Sacred Sights already in. He's needing a very hard farming transition. Can't freely farm either because of the Barbican placement. Oh, there's a forward keep, and there's no way to deny that. Two Siege Workshops to follow it up. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Louis taps out. Great play there by Beastie. Comes in with the Barbican rush, and holy moly, did it work well. He denied so many resources for so long. Hope you guys enjoyed the casted game. Take care and see you next time.